Good afternoon. Uh, today is going to be a very technical vlog, so that if you're not interested in code and talking about websites and all of that sort of stuff, come back next week. Um, so now that all the boring people have left, today I want to walk you through what I've been doing recently uh, in terms of coding and web development and that. Uh, I finished building my own website that's got a blog on it as well because everybody seems to have a blog these days and I like writing out and narcissistically having people read my own thoughts and that on the internet so that's gonna happen. Uh, I've been working on some other coding challenges and that, so starting to build out my web development portfolio since I finished that web development Udemy course that I really enjoyed doing and wanted to get done. And so yeah, let's go straight into looking at what I've built recently and just showing off some of the cool stuff that I'm quite proud of actually. So right off the bat, this is what my website looks like. I know it's not the cleanest and not the greatest, but hey, it's my first one that I've probably built out by myself. So yeah, about page, got some facts about me and some links, uh, some a nice foot at the bottom with some links to my social accounts and to GitHub and that. On the left hand here, there's this big navigation bar that folds out on desktop, which is really cool where there's a vlog page, a blog page, and a about page, and a theme switcher, which changes from dark to light. Oh, that took a while to get working right, but I really like that. Yeah, on the vlog page, just like a tiny blurb about the vlog, and uh, what the vlog's about. The blog page, this is, uh, I really like the way blog posts come up here in these new little blocks like this, and then you can open up each blog post in a new page, and an about page, just a small bit about me, and some more information on that. So yeah, kind of like a personal website, just a personal portfolio, and that is what it looks like in, in kind of a smaller view. Um, and it looks really nice on mobile as well. When you bring it small on that on mobile, it drops this down, the navigation bar to the bottom, so that you can navigate it down here. And it looks really good on the phone as well, which I'm quite proud of. Um, and so yeah, that's the site. Let me show you the code now, because that's actually what's important. Um, so yeah, it's built with Node.js and MongoDB and hosted on Heroku um, and obviously of course HTML and CSS of course. So all the blog information is stored on a database with MongoDB which is then brought in each time someone visits that um, blog page. And yeah, just, it's really cool. I know uh, blog databases are really important for websites and for getting a job one day. You have to know how to use databases, it's essential. And so I'm really glad that I got on working with this. So yeah, um, this is just my index.js file with all of my required things that I'm using to build it out. All the routes and that that the website uses, like when you go to the blog page, it redirects you to mitchwilliams.coza slash blog. Um, and so that's, this is what this just does, sets it all up. And then each individual page is put together using EGS templates. Um, so the footer and header are the same for every page, and so they are just rendered on each page by just including partial slash header on, at the top of every page, um, which I really like. I really like the fact that it doesn't, you know, it prevents code duplication. Although I, ha I wanted to get this working on Firebase, and I don't know if Firebase supports EGS templates. Maybe if my friend Todd is watching this, he can tell me. I can't find any information on the internet, um, but Firebase is like a bit more complicated to learn than Heroku and that, so maybe I'll get to that in the future. So anyway, obviously just HTML and that, putting each, everything on a new page and that. Um, over in the styles.css file, there's obviously a whole lot of media queries. Um, I think that at the end. Media queries and that to handle the different screen sizes and that, so that when the different screen sizes change, it changes things like the image size, the text size, and whether the navigation bar is on the side or on the bottom. Um, so yeah, this is probably not the best way to do it, I'm sure using a framework like React or something you could probably get a better um, understand, a, a better built uh, design and style and UI or even just using something like a bootstrap template and that. But since it's my first website and that, I wanted to do a lot of stuff manually and to, to make it to real, really customize it and I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's a really basic site, so maybe if I build something more enterprise level in the future, I'll use a template or something and I'll use... Um, the framework or something to have a more robust UI. But for the moment, this is what it looks like and I'm really happy with it. That is my personal website. I mean, as for what else I've been working on, I've worked on one or two small coding challenges like FizzBuzz, which is just basic JavaScript and that, because I've been, I found this really cool YouTube channel, I think called Coder Foundry, which is all about web developer interviews and web developer portfolios and that. And basically what you need to do as a junior developer like myself to get a job in software engineering or software development. Oh, it's good water. And so I've been watching those videos and that and just trying to get my head around what I need to build a portfolio around and what projects I need to include in a development portfolio and that to get a job one day. Because I'm pretty sure that after I graduate, I'm gonna get a web developer job. 
or sorry, not a web development job, a software engineering job. Because in South Africa, especially if you go onto jobs in South Africa, as I've, I think I've done it before on this channel, but I can bring it up here, computer engineering jobs, South Africa. Um, all the jobs that I can see are software development jobs. There's very few like embedded hardware engineers in that, which is the kind of stuff that we do at Tux. Um, come on, load, there we go. So this is the kind of stuff I can see, software engineer, software engineer. Um, I see very few jobs where you pick up a, a circuit board and, that and actually start building some stuff. There's one or two things like with intellect and that, but as you can see on the left here, most of it is Python, software engineer, computer science, Python, C Sharp, uh, you know, web dev stuff with JavaScript and that. And so I'm definitely gonna be working with um, software in the future and that. So in addition to my degree, trying to get this portfolio up and running is one of my main um, goals at the moment for my personal life and my personal work life. And so yeah, I've, I've actually been really enjoying it. And so, you know, getting ready for work and like thinking about interviews one day and trying to build a portfolio to differentiate my skills and that. I've really been enjoying it and just watching those coding interviews and that have got me really excited for stuff. And so that's all the coding that I've been doing. Um, I've got everything hosted up on GitHub. Come on, where is this shit? If you want to go take a look at the projects I'm building on, I've got my uh, respiration detection system code there that I worked on for EMK, so you can go and have a look at all the assembly level code that's there and <laughs> not fun at all. Ventilator.asm. Hey, I remember this shit. Yes, that took a long time. Damn! A little bit of PTSD there. Um, and then I'm also busy working, I was working on an Uno game recreation, you know, the card game. Um, I didn't get very far with it. I've also a calculator as well. Oh, I can show you my calculator. Um, it's kind of working. It's also kind of broken. So if you go like three times five equals 15, but then if you try to do another thing, like you now try to minus one when we should get 14, we get minus one. So you see some stuff is not working there yet. It's still a bit buggy, still need to fix that. Um, it's just like another thing to put on my portfolio website or just like a little thing to have which shows I can use the DOM and make stuff look pretty. Obviously this is the non prettified version, um, but yeah. All of this is happening at the same time that I've started second semester varsity and that when I really should be working on this stuff, uh, this is control systems. Um, I was actually working on it a bit earlier but I had a triple simultaneous equation that I just gave up on because after a page of working out I was like, I was done, I just couldn't do anymore. Um, <laughs> so I need to get back to this. I've actually only got one problem left, but it's, it's been really cool. I've been enjoying control systems so far, just like modeling and that uh, different processes in the world and that and how we can control them using science and technology and how to take inputs uh, and measurements from a system and feed them back into the system so that you can reduce errors in the system and so that you can and so that you can just have really big systems and that that regulate themselves and take inputs and process them and then output, um, you know, like normal behavior that's not erratic and i'm getting off track here anyway that's all the stuff i'm working on at the moment in terms of like coding and web development and that really enjoying it it's a nice change from varsity and that also varsity hasn't gone too hard yet because it's obviously the first week of the semester um the shit hasn't hit the fan properly yet uh, it's going to start soon though i'm sure once we start our practicals and tutorials it'll get a bit hectic i worked on some icon values and icon vec vectors this last week but it's still the easy revision stuff um, so although it's long and intimidating looking, it's not actually that difficult. It's just big, some of the, it's just big differential equations. Um, so that's been okay. These are my control systems that I was drawing earlier. Now it looks like shit, but like I'm understanding it and enjoying it. So yeah, things are going alright so far. Um, not too bad. I'll let you know what's happening soon. Thank you for sticking through the whole way through this video. If you've watched all of the technical details in that and understood it or enjoyed it or learned something or been motivated in that, let me know if you've got any ideas for things we need to work on in the future. I want to build out some big more enterprise level stuff like maybe a bug tracker or a work issue tracker and then some fun stuff too like the Uno game and maybe a version of chess online or something. Uh, got some ideas in that but let me know if you've got any ideas in that or if you want to hire me. Yo! Hi, <laughs> recruiters, if you're watching this, part-time uh, software developer right here. But yeah, just kidding. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably get back to work now. And I'll see you in the next video. With probably, again, a nice technical video in that. I've been thinking about what to, what kind of new videos in that to make at the moment. And I've just had no motivation in that. That's why this video is, comes to you eight or nine days after the last one that got posted. Um, so, I'll try to be creative this week. Hello, ah, my heart! Good thing you caught me in the outro.
And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.